What's up everybody, welcome back to the patio. Today on the channel, we're gonna go over the Komodo Komodo and how to get it started. Haven't done a video on that yet, so I'm gonna give you an overview of that. I'm gonna be using it to smoke a pork butt today, so figured I might as well show you behind the scenes and how we get started. So first off, let's get her uncovered. Now the way this guy works is very simple. On the bottom here, we've got a couple knobs here. We can open up our vents. And this also pulls all the way out for when you really need uh, a lot of air in there if you're doing pizza or something hot like that. But you control the air in and you control the air out. And this just rotates. The more turns, the more airflow. So very simple there. Right now I've got the top and there's another rack in the bottom here. So we're going to pull those out and then we'll give you a look inside. All right, so first things first, inside of here we've got what's called the, the basket splitter. This is an insert that goes into your um, unit. And what happens is, is this middle divider here, you can move it, you can take it out if you need a full basket. Uh, right now we're in half basket mode. So today we're doing a smoke it doesn't take a lot of lump to get through a smoke unless you're doing like a brisket. Uh, so because we're just doing a, a pork shoulder today, we only really need one quarter of the basket. So this is a little bit fickle, um, but uh, if you play with it, you'll be able to move around no problem. There you go. So we put this other plate back in. And now we have one little area, a quarter basket that we can load up with some lump. Today we're using the Komodo Komodo's cocoa char. It's made out of coconut shell. Um, the beautiful thing about it is that it burns really, really well for smoke. It does take a little bit of um, extra time to get it lit, but it has no flavor profile. So whatever wood you put in here, that's the flavor profile you're gonna end up with. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to bury some hickory in here, right? As the charcoal burns down, this will dry out the wood and allow it to smoke and smolder it so we'll get some nice clean burning smoke uh, rather than the, the real thick white smoke that we don't want. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a fire starter in here. These are the Komodo Joe fire starters. Obviously this box has seen better days. <laughs> 
but these guys are, are just wax cubes, right? My rule of thumb, if I'm gonna smoke something and I need it 225, 250, I only need one of these. If I wanna get it up to 350 or something, I will use two of them. And really what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bury it down here between some lump. We're gonna open up our bottom vent. And then we're just gonna light this guy up. So we've got our lit here. We've got our vent open all the way. We wanna get maximum airflow through it so that we can get this going. We're gonna give this about five minutes. Now, it, it's actually about 40 degrees outside, so we don't wanna get a ceramic grill cranked up too quickly. Uh, so we're gonna give this about five minutes and then uh, we'll start to shut it down. We'll close our lid and we'll open up our top vent. Normally, in the, the spring and in the summer and whatnot, I'll let this go for 10 minutes. We'll get that going really well and uh, then we'll close our dome and we'll uh, heat it up a little quicker. But just due to the temperatures, it was below 30 last night, so uh, we're just gonna let it warm up a little slower. I'll come back in about five minutes and kind of show you the next steps. All right, so it's been about five minutes. I ended up adding another piece of lump here to cover up that flame. There wasn't quite enough flame touching the lump and that'll just make it take too long to get started. So I wanted to increase the flame contact. You know, one of the common questions about a Kamado style grill is that I've got a whole bunch of lump in here, but it's not getting as hot or I can't maintain high temperatures. And really you can have a whole bunch of lump, but if, if not a lot of it's burning, it doesn't matter how much is in there. So, you know, I just wanted to get some more burn in there. That'll give us a nice even starting point. And we'll give another couple more minutes and then we'll dial in our vents. So our lump's going, it's time to dial in the vents. Before we do that though, we're gonna start to put it together. Now, one of the nice things about the Komodo Komodo is both grates have this door that opens up. So if you wanna add some wood to it, you can. We are gonna do that, so we're gonna leave the bottom one open. And in this case, I'm doing a pork shoulder that's gonna be very fatty. So I'm gonna put some water in here. And really my goal there is just to be able to catch some of that fat so it doesn't hit a hot surface and just add a flavor to the meat that I don't want. Again, the top grate's got the same thing, so we'll leave that open for now. And then we're gonna put our, our pit probe in here. And this is my Thermopen Smoke X. Put that right at the back. And let's close this up and get ready to dial it in. So we're gonna close this, make sure we've only got this vent halfway open right now. We're gonna open up our top vent. So we got one turn, one and a half would be good to get it started. The more you open this and the more you open that, the hotter it's gonna get quicker. We don't need to get hot too quick. So we'll keep an eye on it. We can look at our dome temperature a little bit and I'm gonna go get my smoke X so we can look at pit temp, get it dialed in at 250 where we want today. Been 20 minutes, we're right up to temperature. We're at 262 right where I want it. So now I'm gonna to start to back down my vents. Now the important thing here is, is that this guy is not heat soaked yet, especially in the temperatures today. We've gone up to about 45, uh, but it takes a little bit of time for this guy to really absorb some of that heat. The more time you give it to absorb the heat, the better results are gonna be on your food. That's gonna give that, you know, the Kamado 
style grill where, where the ceramics heat up and you radiate that temperature on top of your food so you get nice even cooking all the way around the food. Um, so you know now is a good time to dial in things. First I'm going to do, I'm going to close my vent so I know where I'm at again and I'm only going to open up that a half turn. It's going to go smaller once we get dialed in but I'm just trying to find a good starting point. So on the bottom I'm going to make this go to a quarter turn. That's a good starting point for it. You know, our great temperatures right now is 265, our dome's 310, 305, somewhere in there. This is going to continue to get heat soaked. And what we're going to do is we're just going to play with our vents. Now, the big thing here to remember is that a little dab will do you, just like WD-40, right? A little turn here has a big impact on this. So don't Go make an eighth of a turn, maybe sixteenth of a turn, if that, uh, to dial it in. In addition, you know, down here at the bottom, right, there's a reason why there's there's a pinhole, a bigger pinhole, and then we get through and we've got, you know, six different, five different holes down here. Oh, sorry, six different holes down here, uh, because a little bit of adjustment in airflow really has an impact on this guy. This guy is very efficient when it comes to the way the air moves through it. So whatever you do. Don't adjust your bottom vent and your top vent at the same time. That's a big no-no. Uh, typically what I'll do is I'll dial that in and then I'll just make baby adjustments up here to tweak it in. Uh, unless I'm trying to get an extra smoke in there, right? So if I have this dialed in and I use a little bit more on the bottom, that allows the chamber to hold a little bit more smoke and I can still adjust my temperatures that way. Uh, but typically, uh, you know, I'm, for 250, I'm going to be a little less than a quarter, and I'm probably going to be closer to a quarter turn on this when I finally get dialed in. Uh, but it's going to take a little bit of time for this to get heat soaked. And, uh, you know, we're going to throw some wood in there, let it clean up. That's where I'm going to stop the video today. I mentioned in the video I'm doing a pork shoulder, uh, but I'm not going to do that on camera today because we're doing a battle of the butts. I'm going to crank up, up the, the yoder. I've got two butts. We're going to do them side by side and kind of show you the juiciness, how they look, do a little bit of a taste test and, uh, you know, put them head to head. I haven't done it before, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. If you're into that, you like pork, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Give the videos a thumbs up. Thanks, as always, for watching. I'll see you soon. <music>